Hello everyone, this is Rhett Quigley from West Virginia Wildlife, and today I'm going to be talking about the Eastern Wood Peewee. The Eastern Wood Peewee is a species of tyrant flycatcher that breeds throughout much of eastern North America, while wintering in northern South America, including the Amazon region. Flycatchers are some of the most difficult to identify birds in North America. There are 10 species of flycatchers that regularly occur in West Virginia. Out of those, there are three groups that could be more easily confused with each other, and they are the peewees, phoebes, and impidinax flycatchers. The eastern wood peewee has grayish olive upper parts with light colored underparts with an olive tinge to the chest region. The eastern wood peewee looks almost identical to the western wood peewee that lives in the west, with range overlap in the Great Plains, but with no hybridization. They are reliably distinguished by sound, but this isn't of concern in West Virginia. Speaking of sound, the eastern wood peewee is rather inconspicuous by sight, but it is very distinctive by sound. Their name is derived from the sound they make, peewee, followed by pew, which has a touch of an Amazonian feel to it. They have two different songs depending on the time of day. At dawn or dusk, they can change the song to be significantly faster with a shorter break between the two sections. Like other flycatchers, they like perching on dead branches and then flying out to catch insects. The peewee tends to land back where it flew from, while impedinax flycatchers tend to land on different perches. Other behavioral differences are that peewees tend to flick their wings, but not their tails. Meanwhile, impedinax flycatchers flick their wings and tail. Phoebes wag their tails, but have no wing flicking. Nest location is also helpful to distinguish them. Impedinax flycatchers place their nests in branch forks, low twigs, on the ground, or a ledge. Meanwhile, peewees place their nests on horizontal branches that can be very concealed. Meanwhile, phoebes nest on ledges or structures. The fairly distinct great crested flycatcher nests in tree cavities. An interesting fact about the eastern wood peewee is that they can have double brooding. I have seen a peewee nest and nestlings in early September, as you can see in this photo. Their nesting period is very long, lasting from May to September. They have been seen feeding killdeer chicks even, demonstrating how high their breeding instinct is. The most probable impedinax to see in much of West Virginia forests is the Acadian flycatcher, which has an explosive song. Peter's the very distinct from the peewee. The other species of peewee of the genus Contopus in West Virginia, the olive-sided flycatcher, is mostly a migrant through the state as it travels north to the boreal forest. They are twice the size of an eastern wood peewee while having a whitish throat and belly with dark flanks that resembles a vest. They have white sides to the rump that is often exposed when the bird is in a relaxed position. They tend to perch on the most conspicuous branch also. You are far less likely to see this species. General coloration differences between the peewees and impedinax flycatchers are that peewees have a very weak eye ring and a grayish chest, meanwhile impedinax flycatchers tend to have an obvious eye ring and a cleaner white underparts. The coloration differences between the peewee and the phoebe is that the phoebe has a much darker coloration overall and has a more rounded head. Phoebes also can be found through much of the state in the winter and increase in numbers very quickly in early spring, meanwhile other flycatchers take much longer to arrive from the tropics. The habitat of the eastern wood peewee tends to be mature deciduous forests and forest edges. They can also be found in wooded suburban areas. They are a solitary species. Some interesting facts about this species are that when there is a higher amount of flycatcher species in a forest, the peewee tends to differentiate itself by foraging at a different section of the tree lower than the great crested flycatcher, but higher than impedinax flycatchers like Acadian. While the species is still common, it is reported to have declined by 1% per year over the past roughly 50 years. One hypothesis for this change is due to excess deer herbivory, which can alter the tree species size and composition of a forest, and is a leading cause of the decline of forest health in the country. I wrote about this during my master's degree, so seeing the effects played out like this is both interesting and concerning.